Rachel, what do you think is the best characteristic of the Australian Muslim? I think the most outstanding thing about them is how affectionate they are. They make the perfect child's pet. Well, they... you should know, but what five? <laughs> five of them. Um, they're very tolerant of children. They don't turn on them. In, in all the years of breeding and with all these children, none of the children have ever been scratched from a cat turning on them. And the basic idea initially at least, I mean there may have been some loss of direction along the way, but was to produce a spotted cat. Yes. With the darker, with the darker colours, the blues and the browns, the spotting shows up beautifully. The lighter colours, the spotting is much more subtle. Now, along the way, as a byproduct of breeding the spotted ones, they produced ones like the one. The marbled started coming out, yes. There isn't that much grooming. If you get one of the grooming mitts with the little nubbies mm. on it and you run it over their backs and bellies, okay. maybe two, three minutes twice a week. Are they fussy about their food? Normally they'll eat anything. So, so do you like the Australian mist cats? Mm, yeah. What's good about them? Mm, because they're cuddly and warm and they're very nice pets. <laughs> Australians are pretty patriotic people. If you want to fly the flag for Australia right down to your pets, then maybe the Australian Miss Cat is a cat you could consider. It's the only Australian made cat breed. On the upside, there are no major health problems with them, but in the clinic, I've actually seen about 25% of these guys with some form of allergy. So we're talking skin irritations or hay fever, so runny noses and sneezing. Now it is quite treatable through a few injections of things like steroids and antibiotics. But to the breeders out there, maybe you should think about doing something about it because in future years, we don't want the Australian Miss Cat to be known as the cat that's actually allergic to Australia. We should just point out when we normally go somewhere to film their cats, you don't see a cat if they're loose in the house they just disappear. Not in my house. <laughs> Look at this, they, they're climbing all over, saying hello. Not one of them has really run away to hide or no, anything. No, not in like my there's house. There's another one right at the cameraman's feet here. So they're not exactly what you'd call a shy brood. No, they're not shy at all. That's one of the things I tell people, is if you're buying it because you want a pet for your children, they're already well broken in. <laughs> yes, I can see that. They're bomb-proof for the time they leave here.